Welcome everyone. Yes, I am still in my bathrobe, ready for the day, but I am not dressed yet. Wanted to pop on here and enjoy my morning with you while I was still in my robe because that has to do with what today's video is all about. We are talking cold weather or fall and winter, pajamas, robes, loungewear, slippers, you name it, whatever it is that you like to lounge around in, be cozy and comfy in, snuggle up in, and head off to La La Land in. A couple things about pajamas, robes, slippers, all of that, I think that they make wonderful gifts, and that is one of the reasons I wanted to get this video out now, as you know, we are planning for the holiday gift giving season, but, if you are like me, you know that you like specific things when it comes to your pajamas. There are specific things that you look for in a robe and same with a slipper. So I encourage you, if you do plan on picking up some of those items this year for a gift for one of your loved ones, I strongly encourage you to find out what it is that they like. You can always ask another loved one. For instance, maybe you would like to buy your mother a nice bathrobe, but you really don't know what type of bathrobe she generally likes. That's a good thing that you could ask your father. He would probably have a good idea or he could sneak and look if you didn't have the opportunity to. The other thing is some people like more of a nightgown, some people like more pants, some people like more separates because maybe they like to have a looser top or maybe there's a certain type of top. Maybe they get really warm and they love the flannel bottoms, but they only want a tank or lightweight tee to go with it. That is really nice because there are so many varieties and options when it comes to pajamas and robes and slippers. So there definitely is something out there for everyone. What I am going to do today is I'm going to share with you what I look for what I prefer because I do prefer certain things and there are certain brands and certain exact items that I repurchase over and over when I need to stock up. I am going to share them with you. I am going to have plenty of options linked in the drop down box below. Often when it comes to the gift giving time of the year, I can't get all of the links in the drop down box because I am limited on space and therefore it's much easier to head on over to the blog post and get your items there. Because I am wearing my favorite robe, we are going to start with that. I love this robe. I received it last year for Christmas. It is by UGG. I will have this one and plenty of other ones linked. But one of the things that I like about this and something that I look for is the sleeves. I don't like anything that's big in sleeves because I am doing things. I need to function when I am in my robe. For instance, I may be getting completely ready. I may be working, I may be on my computer, I may be writing something, I may go out and cook something. My robe has to be something that I can move in. So the sleeves cannot be big. What I love about this particular one is the material is more like a thick sweatshirt. The sleeves are like a sweatshirt as well and it actually has like this little cuff part here almost like a hoodie would have and I really like that. If I don't have this, it leaves this loose and open so that is something that has been a game changer ever since I've incorporated this UGG bathrobe into my repertoire. The other thing that I look for in a bathrobe is pockets. And this particular one does have pockets. That is very important to me. You all know if you've been following me, I am a pocket girl. And just like all UGG items, it is so comfortable in the inside. It is so comfortable against your skin. I love this. I would be happy to have more even because if this one has to be laundered and I need to pull another one out, this to me is my perfect robe. Moving on to pajamas. Many of you may recognize these particular pajamas here, which are a little bit wrinkly, but we'll get more into how I store my pajamas later. I do not store them on a hanger, but I thought it would be easier for you to see them. These are a favorite. A couple different things that I look for in pajamas is number one, I'm a pants girl, but I don't like fleece, I don't like flannel, I don't like the satin, I like more of a mixed material. These Moonlit Lingerie by Nordstrom pajamas, 
are 95% modal and I think 5% spandex. So there's that little bit of mix. So they're lightweight, they keep me warm, but they're not bulky. I just, again, I don't like things that I can't move around in good. There's nothing stiff about these. They just move with my body and they are so comfortable. I could be in these all day. Another thing that I like, I don't necessarily have to have, but I do like when it's button in the front. Often I will be getting ready in the morning with pajamas on. I change my pajamas about every three nights. So I do wear them about three nights before I put them in the dirty laundry. But I always have a system and my system is that after I shower, a lot of times I will put on a clean pair of pajamas, get ready if I'm not getting ready in my robe. And then when I go to get dressed, I will fold those pajamas up, put them in my little pajama divider, and that will be the next set that I will wear when I put the ones I've been wearing to bed in the dirty laundry. That probably sounds confusing, but I love when I pull out a fresh pair of pajamas that I've gotten ready in in the morning after I've showered and put my body lotion on, and they smell so good because they smell like my body lotion, which you know is gonna be by L'Occitane. Anyway, back to the pajamas. Having button down makes pajamas easy for me to get ready in, so that is something that I look for. Another thing that I look for with pajamas is the length of the pants. They have to be really long. One of the things that I do is hang my pajamas. I do not put any of my pajamas in the dryer and one of the reasons for that is because I just feel pajamas shrink. And I know not all fabrics do, but it isn't something that I want to risk. So I always hang my pajamas to dry. They're always dry by the next day. I also have them in navy blue, but I had to dig these ones out of the dirty clothes. The other thing is I have gifted these pajamas many times. Last year, my mom got a set for Christmas and she loves them. The other thing is you can get the shorts version or you can get the sleep shirt version. So whichever style you like in pajamas, pajamas, these moonlit lingerie by Nordstrom will come in whatever suits you. Another line of pajamas that I love and are very similar, these are also a blend. I think these are cotton nylon blend, but they feel pretty much the same as the Nordstrom. These are by Victoria's Secret. Now Victoria's Secret comes out with a lot of great sets during the holidays, but a lot of times they are not the ones that I enjoy to wear. They're beautiful, they're so festive, they're so cute, I love the print, but generally they're either going to be their satin line or they're gonna be their flannel, and that's just two pajamas that I don't enjoy to wear. They have to be more of this type of material. I love these, they come in several different colors. I like the detail at the bottom of these. They are drawstring waist, just like the Nordstrom brand are, and again, I have my button down, lightweight, easy to move around in, but keep me warm enough. Here is another set of pajamas that I recently picked up. Love the print on these, love the pants with the drawstring, this is lightweight as well. Again, we're talking about button down. This is going to be a different material. This is going to be lighter weight and it's not going to have that cotton feeling, that knit feeling. So I like the other ones better, but I do like these as well. In all honesty, I tend to default to my Nordstrom or Victoria's Secret, but I think these are pretty to walk around the house in. Many times my fifth daughter, Chloe, has friends over. In fact, she has three or four friends over right now as I'm filming this up in her room. So if you hear voices in the background, that's who it is. But wearing something like this around the house with this fun print, I just think it's got a little style and sometimes we wanna have a little bit of that style, especially when people are going to see us. Moving on to slippers and socks, I am a fuzzy slipper girl and I generally stock up on black. That is my favorite. I've never really been into slippers, but I think having a pair of house shoes has its purpose. So if anybody has a recommendation of good slipper house shoes, 
please let me know in the comment section below because I may be adding that to my Christmas list this year. So I'm very excited to hear what you guys have to share. But I love my slipper socks. The reason I always get black is because then I don't get frustrated when they turn color because the floors are never clean. Big family, even when the floors do get clean, I feel like the next day, anything light colored is going to look dirty. So I'll never know by just wearing black ones. On the other hand, I will have plenty of slipper options linked below. Moving on to loungewear, I've talked about my favorite loungewear pants many times. I also think loungewear is a wonderful gift if someone is in the home works from home, maybe they're retired, maybe they're younger and they just like to loaf around. Most of us, if we are home during the day, most of us are getting into something cozy and comfy. Some people prefer black leggings. I prefer these loungewear pants here. I have two pair. There is a reason for that because these have to get me through the week. Sometimes I will wear black leggings and I will wear some type of tank and then generally I will throw on my Barefoot Dreams cardigan. Oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful piece of work right here. It brings me so much happiness. Really the thing is, is I have nailed it. That's how I feel. I have nailed what I like with pajamas. I have nailed what I like with a bathrobe. I have nailed what I like with my loungewear. I am in the home a lot. I think it's important to nail it. I really do. And this brings me so much pleasure. It has the pockets, which is another thing that is very important to me. I did talk about this in my All Things Black video. If you've missed the All Things Black video, you can get to that down below, as well as the All Things Nude. I don't generally wear this out. It's just my house cardigan is what I want to call it. It's almost like my daytime robe. I'm not in a bathrobe, but I pretty much really am because if you have this on, that is what it feels like. Let me share with you how I store my pajamas. If you have watched my All Things Bras and Camis video and my All Things Panties and Shapewear video, you will know that I like organizers in my drawer. This particular clear acrylic organizer is perfect for my pajamas. I roll them up and I put them in one of the dividers right here. There's three right here and I have another one of these exact ones in the same drawer. They fit in there perfectly side by side. When you open up the drawer, one is like this, one is like this. They don't fit this way, it's too wide, but two side by side fits perfectly in a standard large drawer. So this is perfect. I can get all of my pajamas in there and then I line up my slipper socks in one of the other ones. What I have found out is by using organizers, it keeps things organized. Your drawers never get in disarray and I'm one of those people that does not handle disarray very well. So the drawer organizers are perfect. Check them out, they are linked along with plenty of other items. I have all different styles of pajamas, robes, slippers, loungewear, something for grandma, something for your teenager, something for you. A cozy cold weather gift for your loved one would be the perfect Christmas gift this year. If you have suggestions that you would like to share with our community, please leave them in the comment section below. We enjoy hearing what other people recommend and suggest. Don't forget holiday gift guides will be coming very soon. Make sure you are subscribed and you have hit the bell for notification. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day and I better go get dressed. <laughs>